Well, we've asked Saj Guru, one of the best minds out there, to provide us a few tips on how to best manage your mental health and overall wellness in the coming year. Take a look at Saj Guru as he led a meditation event earlier today. <laughs> Well, Saj Guru joining us now from Coimbatore in India. Wonderful. You lead the Aisha Foundation, a non-profit that... <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. You, you offer yoga programs for self-improvement. Walk me through your event today and what you focused on as we leave behind the year of 2023. One important thing that's facing the world is uh, definitely mental health. This has become a huge challenge like never before. So one important thing is what we eat, what we put into our system because our body is a consequence of the kind of food that we consume. We are still... large number of people are still in the survival mode, the kind of food that we consumed to survive. We... we were hunters and gatherers, so we ate a certain kind of food. But a time has come where our physical activity has come down significantly than what it used to be a thousand years ago. So moving towards more vegetarian food, fru uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts and, uh, you know, along with other things, plant-based life will make a huge difference. And also above all that, if maximum number of people invest at least fifteen minutes a day for their inner well-being, when I say investing towards inner well-being, uh, as there is a science and technology for external well-being, there is a whole science and technology for inner well-being. So the tools for transformation, one can make use of, we are offering this to many people, our idea is at least three billion people, if they can spend fifteen minutes a day towards their own inner well-being, it would make a huge difference in the world. And we are hoping that in the next eighteen to twenty-four months, we can make this happen. And above all, putting the body to use, this body is designed to be used. Right. If you try to save it, it'll be lost. We must put it to use. The more <laughs> you use it, the better it is. And also, one Saj... important factor which is causing this... Yes, please. Sajguru, you got me for fifteen minutes a day. I promise you, I will do my best. What are you hoping to see more of? in 2024, very briefly. In 2024, one most important thing that we need to do is enhance the organic content in the soil because the food has become weak. The, the food that we're consuming doesn't have the complex micronutrients necessary to nourish this body. For example, studies are showing that if you ate one orange in California in 20... 1920s, what nutrients you got to get the same thing, today you have to eat eight oranges. We would turn orange, I think, wow. if you eat that many. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, enhancing organic content, we've been working on this. Fortunately, in the recent COP28, yeah. uh, the narrative has shifted towards soil, otherwise we've been only talking oil. It's time we talk soil, we're talking about it, it's time yeah. to act upon it. We're already working with COP29 with Azerbaijan to see that soil becomes the thing. And fortunately, this year there was an event <laughs> where the UNCCD had an event which was titled as Soil the Superstar. Just two years ago it was absent, <laughs> now it's become the superstar. And above all, human That's beings fantastic. must understand in is, in is the only way out because human experience is caused from within. If you didn't, do not take, yeah. take charge of our interiority, how, what kind of experience we have of life cannot be determined from outside. It's good to have you, sir. What a joy. I know that those who were with you today will have had a wonderful experience. Uh, Happy New Year to you from us. Uh, and you, we Becky. will talk in 2024. Thank you. It was good to see you we're here. We're already in 2024, I told you. Well, you're way... 20 minutes away, but we're already uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> there. You are. You absolutely are. Happy New Year.